Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of War of the Planet of the Apes. I am all caught up and if you want to check out my review of Dawn or Rise of the Planet of the Apes then click the links above my head now. Now if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And as always with my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. War for the Planet of the Apes is a great trilogy ender. It was a really great way of tying up this story. If I'm being honest, I don't think it was my favourite of the trilogy. I definitely think that trophy belongs to Dawn. But this is still a really great movie and it had another great story. I really loved the way this story played out. And in points, um, for me, it felt very parallel to the to similar events that happened in Rise, just obviously a lot further down the timeline. And I really loved that because it felt like it did bring this story full circle, and it was brilliant. Um, and another character that came full circle was Caesar. He was, uh, again, it was so great. I've mentioned this in the, in the other two reviews that I did of Rise and Dawn, but... For the first time it felt in this trilogy, Caesar had a definitive thing that he was fighting for. And there was a point in this movie, I won't spoil it for you, where that switch goes off. And we know for the first time that Caesar is the good guy and the guy we should be rooting for throughout this movie. Uh, and on the flip side of that, with that point that happens, the Colonel is the, the massive asshole that we all... Uh, I, we all despise and that was brilliant but again what was brilliant about that is that we had the good and the bad guy there is a scene in this movie where you almost feel empathy for the colonel and you you feel for him and i really loved that dynamic of this this film and that and this story that you felt empathy for the villain which you shouldn't really be doing but it just added another layer to this character and you didn't really know where the story was going to go um and the only thing that i did disappoint me with the colonel was his eventual demise now i don't want to go too much into it but i felt the way in which he died um was very very satisfying but i just kind of wished it had gone another way but thinking about it now i think that was the best way for him to go because he got these just desserts and again it almost felt like his story had come full circle even though he has only been in the one planet of the apes movie uh, it was just great i say caesar was brilliant andy circus once again is brilliant as caesar and it was just, it did feel very odd, this movie, um, to kind of blend it into the things I did find a bit negative about this film. Um, it's called War for the Planet of the Apes, but there isn't really a war that happens. It just felt, uh, but this is where it ran similar to Rise, and this is why I did enjoy it, but didn't at the same time. Um, it ran parallel to Rise, so there was a lot of subdued action in it, and it, it told more of a story than it had action. Um, which which worked, it definitely worked, but I just would have loved to have seen this huge epic battle scene at the end, um, which we kind of got, but it just felt a little bit rushed. Um, again, like if I'm being negative, I didn't really like the girl. I didn't get what the whole point of having the young girl in there. It felt like it had been done before. It's been done a couple of times this year with um, Logan was what um, stood out to me. So I didn't really get that. It didn't really add too much more to to the story for me it was just sort of like all right okay we've, we've got to spend like another hour and a half with this girl and she brings nothing to the story but that being said I, again i'm not being negative i love this movie there are just a few points that i didn't really like um which kind of took away from the overall enjoyment of the movie because as i said this film wrapped up this story so so well it was so well handled it was brilliant and just overall, this trilogy really took me by surprise. It was it was a trilogy I wasn't sure that I was going to enjoy. But as I said in my review of Rise, I really, really enjoyed this. And my enjoyment and my excitement levels for these movies has gone up throughout um, each film being released. And this was another perfect send-off. And um, to not to get really up my own arse and pretentious, 
but I really loved the Planet of the Apes trilogy for the fact that they were they were big summer blockbusters, but they were blockbusters with soul and heart and a, and a real purpose, and it was just really, really great to see. So if you have seen Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes, then let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, then why not give it a like, and why not subscribe, because you'll be helping me out massively. And I will see you in the very next episode of The Jamie Hughes Show. Ta-ra! Mm -hmm.